Hello everyone, Julia here, hello from Sweden and welcome to a new video. In this video I want to show you a flip through of my finished travel journal. I finished this one uh, just a few days ago and I think it's already fifth travel journal that I finished this year. I finished two uh, Travelers Company inserts in passport size already and two in regular, so this is the third in regular size. And this insert is a short trip insert, like half, half of the size of the standard insert, 32 pages instead of um, 64. And uh, I really like this half trip inserts because they don't get too big and bulky. I like to add a lot of stuff to my travel journals, so this half inserts uh, still stay kind of nice and flat and then it's easier to store them on the shelf, so I really like this half trip inserts and I think for the rest of the year I probably will start another half trip insert and I still have one passport size insert that I didn't finish yet, so I think all in all it will be like about around six travel journals this year and yeah I think you already know probably that I really love to journal about my trips and I think travel journals are one of my favorite kinds of journals so so I started this one in June and I think I will stamp here also other months that I have in this insert forgot about that. Uh, so I have here June, uh, September and October. Uh, there were also a few short trips in uh, July and August, but I journaled about those trips in uh, passport size journal. So those are not here, so I think I just was them here September and October. Okay, something like this that I know uh, which trips I have here from uh, from which months. And it's kind of funny, uh, I noticed that I have really many train related things in this journal, like train related trips and uh, especially uh, this kind of steam trains, vintage trains, because the first trip that I have here is this one. It's a short one day trip uh, to Brosarp. Uh, it's a small village not very far uh, from where I live in southern Sweden. And this was a trip by steam train in summer on the weekend. And I think a few, few days a week uh, there is this very cool vintage steam train that goes from one village to another and my husband and I both like old trains, um, this kind of steam trains and in general all those older trains. Uh, so we booked tickets and went for, for this uh, train ride and the train looks like this, like this very old nice vintage train. So this was the, this is the uh, first trip in this journal that I journaled about and yeah, I have here very cool tickets from this trip. I really like this old kind of tickets. And this was just a one day trip but I made a few pages about it because I wanted to add many photos and I have many train themed stickers and tapes and some ephemera that I wanted to include. So all these pages about this one day trip. And uh, there also is a restaurant in one of the old wagons, um, which looks like, like this. So we also had uh, lunch there in the restaurant. It was, was really nice. So it was really, really nice and fun day. And this next pages are also train themed because it's about a train museum in the town where I live. It wasn't really a trip because it's a local museum, um, but I still uh, decided to include it here. It was really interesting. I didn't expect that this museum is so beautiful and interesting. It's very small, but really, really cool. I really liked it. And yeah, as you can imagine, there are many train related things and also some old trains. So I also journaled about it in, in my travel journal because it's kind of fitting here. It's like, it's not really a trip, but still 
something travel related and I wanted to continue with this uh, train theme in this journal so more pages about uh, old trains then this next uh, next trip that's in September already uh, this one was also a train ride by this old train we called a rail bus for some reason I don't know why and it was also a short uh, ride by this uh, old train to to the next small town uh, also like just a one day experience but it was was really fun because this one also goes only on special days on special occasions just a few days a year so of course we had to use the chance and go by this beautiful old train and it also it was related to some event in this uh, in the train museum so it also was really fun so next uh, trip in this travel journal is also train related as you can see and here i also have this nice tickets that we got from the trip also very similar to those previous ones very cool so as you can see half of this insert is uh, about some train rides train related experiences and also i used here many train themed stickers and ephemera and some of the school uh, stickers from travelers company from those limited sets um, because I think they fit here really well so I decided that it's time to use them not just to hoard them but also finally to use them in the journal and uh, then this next uh, few pages it's about a short one day trip to Aarhus to, to the sea to the beach and to the forest and it was my birthday trip I didn't really want to go somewhere far away just wanted to spend some time with my husband and have a nice day in a beautiful place somewhere in nature so we went to Aarhus and I turned out here about this about this day and also added many many photos so all these pages are about uh, this trip uh, about this birthday trip we also went there to the brewery and to the restaurant and it was a really nice nice day and then this this last few pages are about my recent uh, trip to Gothenburg uh, and two previous videos on my youtube channel were about this making this pages so i will leave a link to those videos in the description box in case if you missed the videos and would like to see how i was making these pages so these are about my trip to Wolfenburg in the beginning of October. We went to amusement park there. It was really fun with all the Halloween decorations and really cool, nice um, roller coasters and horror houses. And also we spent some time walking through the city. I really love Wolfenburg. I think it's my favorite city in Sweden right now always happy to go back there and then we also went to a special event in my favorite Swedish brewery it's a very very small brewery but it's just awesome and there was some uh, special event there so we went there and had a really fun weekend there yeah and that's it for this insert just a few uh, few short trips and that's, as i said it's a, a short trip insert half size so it's it's small it has less pages but i, I really like that because uh, even with all the stuff that i added here as you can see i have here many additional things like some postcards and business cards and few pockets with different things and it's still really nice and flat and I really like the size of this insert so yeah so I think that's it for for this flip through another finished travel journal of this year it's, it's always very satisfying to finish a journal I think and then to flip through all the pages and kind of relive those 
nice memories again, look at the photos and just remember some things from the day. That's why I like to journal even about one day a lot and to include many many photos like as many as I, as I want to like all the photos that I took during the day and that I like I always print them and include in my journal I don't like to pick just one photo or one or two I like to add as many photos as, as possible uh, uh, to keep those memories and it's always really nice to look back at those memories and all those photos. Travel journals usually are my favorite journals to go back to and to flip through them. I do that quite often. I like to go back to my old journals. So I hope this little flip through was interesting for you and you liked it. And as always, thank you so much for watching and see you in my next videos. Bye!